So just closing your eyes when you're ready again, if that feels comfortable. And beginning to rest with your breathing. And just being with the waves of your breath. Not trying to change our breath in any way or make it deeper or or better. We just allow our breathing to be just as it is in the same way as we allow ourselves to be just as we are. So just being with the waves of the breath as the breath moves gently through the body. And just noticing when your mind is not with the breath, when you're thinking, and this will happen because we all have the monkey mind and that's okay. And we can label this just noticing where our mind has moved to, is it the past or the future? Is it a worry? Is it judgment of ourselves or judgment of others? So just we can label that, ah, past thought or ah, future thought. And then with so much kindness and compassion and care, bringing our focus back to our breathing, back to the moment, back to the here and now. Allowing our breath to anchor our attention. And just resting. And we're just going to notice how our bodies are, because often as we sit to practice, there's tension or tightness in the body. So just bring in our awareness to our forehead and seeing if we can relax our forehead a little bit more and a little bit more. The same with the muscles around the eyes, allowing the muscles around the right eye to relax and allowing the muscles around the left eye to soften and relax and allowing the muscles in between the eyes to soften and rest and relax, just take a breath. And noticing the right jaw and allowing it to open and soften. The same with the left jaw, allowing it to open and soften and breathe. And noticing the right shoulder, allowing the shoulder to drop and to soften and ease. And allowing the left shoulder to drop and soften and ease. And just take a breath and bring awareness down to your tummy. And often we're holding the tummy tight. So just seeing, can we soften the tummy a little bit more, a little bit more, letting go of any holding, any tightness, letting the whole tummy become soft and peaceful and comfortable, soft tummy and breathe. 
And notice your whole body from the top of your head to the tips of your fingers and your toes and seeing maybe, can you relax your body even 5% more? Breathe. And at the same time, letting your back be strong and tall like a mountain. So you are relaxed, relaxed and awake and aware, soft, soft and awake and aware. And from this place, gently being with our breath. And noticing how the breath and the body are always anchored in the now. So from the moment you've been born, your breath and your body have always been anchored in the now, although your mind is not. Your mind has been time traveling <laughs> to the past and the future and many other places. But just aware how your breath and your body are always anchored in the now. And we can notice when our mind moves and gets caught in past thoughts and future thoughts, and we can label them past thoughts, future thoughts, or even I am thinking, thinking, worry, whatever it is, without judging the mind, knowing that it's the nature of the mind to think the same way as it's the nature of the heart to beat. We can just notice when the mind has moved into thinking and with so much kindness for our monkey mind, without judgment, we bring the focus back to our breathing, allowing our breath to bring us home, to bring us home to the moment, home to ourselves, home to the here and the now, the only time we ever have. So just allowing your breathing to bring you home and resting and breathing, soft belly. And just noticing how you feel as you connect to the moment in this way. Just noticing that this is our first wing in our practice, the practice of cultivating presence. And now we can put a hand on our heart, if that feels okay, and a hand on our tummy. And we can begin cultivating the second wing, this wing of compassion and care and love, knowing that the bird needs the two wings to fly. And for our practice to be complete, we can bring the wings of presence and compassion and care together. So we can inquire with ourselves in the same way as we would inquire with our dearest, most precious friend with the words, how am I? How am I today? So asking ourselves this question with the same gentleness and curiosity and compassion that we will give our dearest friend and now listening to the wisdom and the language of your body and your mind and your heart. How is my body today? 
breathe. How is my mind today? How is my heart today? Just listening. And noticing any judgment, because often we're judging ourselves. So we might be judging our bodies in some way, what they look like on the outside, or maybe a pain we have, or noticing if we're judging our minds in some way, or our feelings, or even our lives in some way, feeling like we are falling short somehow. Bapaji says that each time we judge ourselves, we break our own hearts. Each time we judge ourselves, we break our own hearts. So we can ask ourselves the question now, how am I when I no longer believe there's anything wrong? Who am I without the thought that there's something wrong with my body or my mind or my feelings or my life? How is it when I open up the space to allow myself to be just as I am? So even for the length of the rest of the meditation, can we practice just allowing ourselves just to be, so allowing our bodies to be just as they are in this moment. Maybe there's pain or discomfort or tension, but just seeing if we can allow them to be just for the length of the meditation. Can we allow our minds to be? Can we allow our hearts and emotions to be? Can we allow our lives to be in their imperfection and messiness? Because to be human is to be perfect or imperfect, imperfectly perfect. And we can even think that the goal of practice can be to become the compassionate mess. So can we just allow ourselves to be as we are, knowing and trusting that we are just as we need to be, that we are part of nature too, with as much right to be here as the stars and the mountains and the trees and the flowers. So can you allow yourself to be just as nature allows itself to be? And we're gonna to begin to wish ourselves well now. So we can begin by holding a hand on our heart and a hand on our tummy and imagine kindness and compassion streaming through your hands towards your body, filling up every cell in your body with so much kindness and care and love and wishing yourself well wishing your body well. May my body be happy. May my body be healthy. May I be kind to my body. May I be a friend to my body. May I give my body what it is that it needs. I'm just asking your body today, what does my body need? And listening to the wisdom of your body, and it might be to get outside or stretch or 
a warm bath or more rest or a hug, but just listening to the wisdom of your body. May I give my body what it is that I need and just take a breath. And just putting one hand on your heart and one hand on your forehead. And imagine again, kindness and compassion and care streaming through your hands towards your mind, filling up your mind with so much care and gentleness and acceptance and kindness. May my mind be happy. May my mind be healthy. May my mind be at ease. May I be kind to my mind. May I accept my mind just as it is. May I give my mind what it is that it needs. And just ask your mind that today, what does my mind need? And it might be anything at all. It might be, again, time away from our phones or to get outside or maybe just acceptance maybe to speak about a problem or to journal. So just trusting the wisdom of your mind. May I give my mind what it is that it needs. And now holding both hands on your heart and imagine your hands filling up with so much care and kindness and love. Holding your heart in the same way as you would hold a little baby who you dearly loved. Giving yourself the same kindness and care and compassion. May my heart be happy. May my heart be healthy. May I be kind to my heart. May I be a friend to my heart. May I give my heart what it is that it needs. I'm just asking your heart now today, what does my heart need? And listening to your heart, again, with the same curiosity and presence and genuine care, as you would listen to a dear friend. What is it that your heart needs? It might be gentleness or forgiveness or acceptance. It might be to speak to someone about something or a hug or <laughs> maybe it's just to let something go. Maybe it's compassion, friendship. What does my heart need? May I give my heart what it is that it needs? And just take a breath. And now putting one hand on your heart and one hand on your tummy. And just take a breath. And just thinking of yourself in this moment in your life and knowing that you, just as you are in this moment, are absolutely deserving of your kindness, of your care, of your compassion and your love. So just wishing yourself well. May I be happy. May I be safe. May I be kind to myself. May I trust and know in my inner value and in my inner goodness. May I give myself what it is that I need. And just checking, is there anything else that you need? What do I need 
might be a word or an image or just a sense. May I give myself what it is that I need. And before we finish thinking of the whole group this evening, such a big group, over a hundred people from all over the world and all of us holding our hearts, all of us having a precious heart, a precious life, all of us with that common intention, common wish that we all want to be happy, all of us having our own stress and struggle and difficulty, knowing that we are so much more similar than we are different and wishing each other well and include yourself. May we all be happy. May we all be safe. May we all be kind to ourselves. May we accept ourselves just as we are. May we accept our lives just as they are. May we give ourselves what it is that we need. And just take a breath and check back in with how you are this evening or today or this morning, wherever you are, and just notice how you feel after the practice in your body, in your mind, and in your heart. And just trust and know that however way you feel, that it's okay, that all our feelings belong and that you belong to. And when you're ready, you can take your time and you can open your eyes. Okay, <laughs> so welcome back everybody. And I just want to apologize for the little issue at the start. So it's the messiness of